Hi there, for this tutorial, I quickly want to run through three um, large language model apps or generative apps or gen apps that was built within the FlowWise graphic user interface. So Flow, FlowWise is an open source GUI which allows you to develop large language model applications um, on, on a number of models with a, non, a number of helpers. So the first one I'll look at is the, the web chat, the web chat bot. And this web chatbot um, has got a conversational agent component or node. It, use, it uses a web browser component, which is free to use, um, as opposed to the SERP API, which is a wrapper, um, which uses Google Search, which is charged for. Um, you can also see this makes use of a memory buffer and um, the open AI embeddings. So I had a conversation with that with this with a chatbot in here within this article I'm busy writing um, on Flowwise. Um, I will link to this article in the comments. Here you can see the complete transcript of that conversation. I asked the chatbot general questions about the country of Namibia. I could you know ask context uh, questions we had we had to leverage the context in terms of which which countries borders it to the south and to the north was the colony what happened in 1915 you can see the short transcript here and it gives you insight into how well the context was managed and then if we jump back um, to the other applications so this is a single chain um, application um, so it's got a, a chain the open IRLM and the prompt template. And here you can see the objective of the, the prompt template. Um, and it will it responds how to complete a task. So if I ask this this chatbot, um, how do you make a cup cup of tea? It gives you a breakdown, the sequence of how to create um, a cup of tea in simple steps. So this is the simplest form of a a prompt chain application. So, so you can see that this chain um, uses the output from the previous chain. Um, so if we ask the question, how does one make tea, then it gives us a, a list of 10 ways or different 10 different questions that can be asked uh, for that for that task. And then lastly, um, included in the article, there's a section that will explain how to create a smart API um, and use that API in other conversational interfaces.